We are Brant and Sherry from the Brant Hansen Show, and this is our favorite things. You bombed that. Nailed it. Oh, that was awful. We, that can't possibly be. Is that the only take we're going <laughs> to? <laughs> Me first. You yeah. first. I don't care. OK. <laughs> One person you look up to and why? Ooh. Um, I know your person. J.R.R. Tolkien. That's actually not who I was going to say. Who? I thought you were going to say Dallas Willard. And Dallas Willard. Okay. And C.S. Lewis. That's the person I look up to. The most. <laughs> Tolkien especially, because I think, and this might be controversial, I don't know, but I think he might have had Asperger's. I think he was on you the You think spectrum. so? But he was, he was so faithful to his wife, and he was mm -hmm. so imaginative. Mm -hmm. And I think he had a little bit of a hard time fitting in. Mm -hmm. But God used him anyway. So you can like relate that. to that. Mm -hmm. Secret ingredients you need <laughs> in your kitchen at all times. A chef. We come over for dinner at Sherry's house, my wife and I, with her mom, and they have some restaurant that <laughs> has dropped off food. There are places that will serve family style things. And what you do is you take that out of the container, you put it on the plate and you serve it to your family and your friends. And for a lot of people, it's believably homemade. <laughs> it was made somewhere by someone. But we know better. <laughs> so, favorite book you've read? Well, Ooh. The Bible. <sighs> Amen. Out Christian that. <laughs> I like Jane Eyre a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a Jane Eyre t-shirt. By Charlotte Bronte, All Quiet on the Western Front. And there's a little trilogy of books I like called The Lord of the Rings. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Favorite gift you've ever received? Man. The gift of salvation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Favorite podcast you're listening to? Plug us. The Brant and Sherry Oddcast. The Brant and Sherry Oddcast has changed, frankly, our lives. It has. On a daily basis. <laughs> Ways we can't even mention. Are we done with this? No, like we gotta go through the whole. Current Bible passage you've been thinking on. There's a thing in Thessalonians that keeps coming up. Hmm. And you pointed it out one time, but it keeps popping into my mind where Paul is advising people to mind their own business. He says, mind your own business and work with your hands like we showed you. And like, this needs to be the social media verse <laughs> of the century. Like, it is a lot more peaceful life if I mind my own business, because I can't control other people. I can't even control me. Favorite song to sing in church right now. Hmm. What is the name of that song? <laughs> it's gonna seem like I don't go to church, but I do. Yeah, wait a second. <laughs> Your great name. Your great hmm. name, Nikki here, who is the only other person that may know gospel music. <laughs> my favorite song is a, a song called Father Abraham. Father Abraham. And I've been doing this for 40 some years now, and I still don't understand what this song means, but we did a lot it's going on. It has a theological meaning that we may never know. We don't understand it. We just do it because they told us to. That's and right. we just accept what we're told, and we just do it. Yay, like vacation this. Bible school. Woo! When can we quit, Mom? <laughs>